Welcome to Cook the Garden Podcast, your weekly audio source for delicious and easy garden fresh recipes and growing tips. I'm your host, Janine Grays. Let's cook the garden. Hey, hey, friends, welcome back. You're listening to episode number two. And this week's Garden Fresh recipe is such a treat. I'm so excited to share my peach salsa with yellow pear tomatoes straight from my garden. This recipe is perfect for snacking or to accompany a main dish like a grilled chicken, pork, or fish. Today's featured ingredient is the incredibly delicious peach. Peaches are one of my absolute favorite fruits. We even have a couple of peach trees in our backyard. Although Florida peaches are in season much earlier than most peaches, I wanted to share this recipe because this time of year is peak season for California peaches, Georgia peaches, and South Carolina peaches. So let's jump into the recipe and I'll share a few peach tree growing tips a little later. So for the ingredients, you wanna start with about a pound of tomatoes diced. Again, I use my yellow pear tomatoes, but you can use whatever tomatoes you happen to have on hand. I was so excited to use my yellow pear tomatoes because this was my first year growing them and I just have an abundance of them. They are absolutely delicious. But like I said, you can use whatever tomatoes you want. You wanna go ahead and have those diced. You also wanna have one bell pepper, seeded and finely diced two jalapeno peppers, seeded and finely diced as well. If you wanna leave the heat out of it, you certainly can, just leave the jalapenos out. About a half of a red onion, finely diced. One and a half pounds of peaches, that would probably equal to about two or three good sized peaches and you wanna dice those as well. You can keep the skin on too. And then you want to have about a half a bunch of fresh cilantro chopped, two tablespoons of lime juice, and of course, salt and finely ground black pepper to taste. So we're going to start by chopping up your tomatoes and transferring them over to a large bowl. You want to have a large enough bowl because we're going to add all of the goodies into that bowl and mix it all up in there. So grab a good sized bowl, um, throw your chopped tomatoes in there, And after that, you're gonna start to finely chop up your bell peppers and your jalapenos. I like my salsa on the spicy side, so I may throw in um, a few extra jalapenos. You can leave it out altogether if you don't want the spiciness to your salsa. But go ahead and chop those up. Um, Make sure those are seeded as well. Don't know about you, but I don't like seeds in my salsa. So um, go ahead and chop all of that up. Finally, and then you want to start chopping up your onion and transfer all of those into that large bowl along with your tomatoes. Now it's time to dice the peaches. I like them a little bit on the larger side um, only because I want to give the peaches kind of like the center of attention. I want to make them the center of attention in this salsa. So still dice them, but just a little larger than your tomatoes and your peppers, okay? And we're also gonna leave the skin on. The skin is actually perfect on, it provides a little bit of color, and when you're eating it, you really honestly don't even notice that the skin is on. So it's one less thing for you to have to worry about. So all we're gonna do is dice your peaches, leave the skin on, once you're done, you're gonna throw it into that bowl with your tomatoes, your peppers, and your onion. Okay, so we're in the last step here, guys. We're gonna add your fresh chopped cilantro, your two tablespoons of lime juice, your salt and pepper, and you're gonna go ahead and fold everything and mix it all up nicely. Go ahead and taste it. I typically don't put measurements for salt and pepper um, only because it is strictly based off preference. Um, We all have our own tastes, so go ahead and taste it. See if you need to add more salt, more pepper. You can absolutely do that. But that's it. That is it. So simple, yet so delicious. All of the delicious flavors in this peach salsa make it so perfect to have with any kind of grilled meat, 
Or, as you all know, football season's back. And by the way, my husband's ecstatic about that. But it's a great game day snack. Just create a gigantic bowl of this stuff with some tortilla chips and you're in business. The absolute best snack ever. So while we're still in peach season, I definitely recommend you guys run out and grab some peaches if you aren't growing them yet. So that's the perfect segue into what I want to talk about next, which are some tips and just really useful information about peaches and how to grow them. So as I mentioned earlier, we actually have two peach trees in our backyard. One is about four and a half, five years old, and the other one is only a year old. And my older peach tree produces the most beautiful peaches. They're smaller than your typical peach that you would find in the store, but they're so juicy and so sweet. I absolutely love my peach trees. They're so low maintenance, and they actually really like the sandy soil that I have in my backyard. Like with most fruit trees, peach trees really need a regular routine of feeding, pruning, and management of uh, pests and diseases and so forth. Um, And there are literally hundreds of varieties of peach trees. That's why it's a good idea to consult with your local university extension office about the best peach trees for your area and your climate. If you've decided to purchase a peach tree or grow a peach tree, select a site for your tree that will get full sun and won't be shaded by other trees um, or buildings. Um, Just kind of knowing that some peach trees can actually grow up to 20 feet wide and 15 feet tall. So choosing the best site for your tree is definitely a first step. Now, I've also seen people grow peaches in containers. I haven't personally tried it, but you can absolutely grow peaches in a container or grow bag or bucket successfully. I really hope you found these tips helpful, especially if you're thinking of growing your own peaches. I really hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. And if you decide to make it, definitely hit us up on Instagram at Cook the Garden. I love to see all of the amazing garden fresh recipes you all are creating at home yourselves. So this was so much fun and I can't wait to do it again next week. Take care. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Cook the Garden. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave a five-star review. As a new podcast, it really helps to add value while growing our awesome community. As always, I really appreciate it. Until next time, friends, keep slaying those garden-fresh recipes.